Welcome to Haltech Elite NSP training part 36. In this training module, we're going to be exploring using the quick tune function found in our NSP software. This is going to allow us to have a way that we can rapidly dial in and tune our fuel or airflow model using logged data and using the difference between our measured air fuel and our target air fuel as well as any fuel corrections that are being applied from our closed loop operation. We have a lot to discuss with this feature. Let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our Quick Tune feature within our NSP software for use with our Haltech Elite systems. Our Quick Tune feature is going to allow us to dial in our fueling very, very quickly. It's going to use a wideband input that we should already have configured and set up in our Haltech, which we've talked about pretty extensively up to this point in the training course. I'm not gonna get into that how to configure a wideband, how to set that up. But as long as we have a wideband coming in and we have our target air fuel table here properly set up and configured, we can simply go in and use some keystrokes to actually populate the correct values here in our main fueling table, whether it's going to be injection time based, fuel flow rate based, or volumetric efficiency, speed density based style tuning. So we can really dial things in very quickly. All we have to have Again, is just a wideband, a properly configured target air fuel table, and going in and learning the keystrokes how to apply this. So this is going to take away a lot of the guesswork in dialing in a table, although there are some things we still need to pay attention to, but it is gonna make the process a little bit more simplistic than what I've outlined in our previous tutorials, using the closed loop correction in the short-term adjustment or short and long-term adjustments to make its corrections against your main table here. Let's learn how this is going to work because it's super easy. So first thing, we need to go in and configure an air fuel table or a target lambda table. So this is our target air fuel in this case. I have my unit scale here set on preferences, unit options, and I've set it for units of air fuel, gasoline, petrol. You could set it on units of lambda if that's what you wanna work with. I'll just keep it simple and keep it on units of gasoline, petrol, air fuel. Now we've had a dedicated tutorial talking about the proper values to populate your table with based on naturally aspirated or force induction examples. So I'm gonna assume you've already configured that already heading into this tutorial. We need to have accurate target air fuel or target lambda values in this table because the quick tune is gonna be relying on making its calculations from a properly configured target air fuel table from here and then also making sure that you have a properly calibrated wideband reading here. So it's actually gonna use both of these in its calculations. So as long as you've configured everything properly, you set up your wideband already, and you've set up your target air fuel table, it will allow you to start to work with this quick tune feature. Now, you can use the quick tune feature in a couple different ways. One, you can use the quick tune when you're in open loop conditions, where you're not in closed loop, you don't have your short term making adjustments, you can use it in closed loop where you have just the short term adjustment being made. And you can also use it in closed loop with both short and long term adjustments being made. The way it's going to work in pure open loop, it's just comparing this actual to target, calculating a percentage difference, and then allowing you to apply that right to the table value. If you're dealing with the closed loop correction where you have a short term adjustment being made, it will apply the short term adjustment plus the difference between whatever your actual and target's going to be and apply that to the cell value. If you're dealing with closed loop correction with short and long term enabled, it will go in and take the long term value plus the difference between your actual and your target and apply that to the cell change. And then when it applies the actual long term value, it'll zero out the long term cell value that it took the value from in your long-term table. So you don't have to go back in and click that reset option that we talked about in our long-term area in our previous tutorial when we were talking about going in here for our long-term fuel trim. We don't have to reset the table values. It'll do that automatically and populate the long-term again plus the difference. So the quick tune, quick tune feature can be used in a couple different varieties depending on what you're trying to do and how you're getting your engine to run. In this example, beginning of the tutorial here, I'm going to show you how to work with the quick tune feature in pure open loop functionality where we don't have any short or long term correction being applied. And we just purely are in this open loop situation where the air fuel is just reading whatever it's reading. We specify the target and uh, we want to go here and start to correct our values. Now in this first example here, I'm going to show you how to work with just a singular cell point editing and modification. So that's going to be 
little cursor right here showing us the position in the table that's relative to the engine speed that- Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.